Welcome to the Game Mode 1 YouTube channel. My name is Shnara, and today I'm going to be taking you through Spellcraft. So this is our latest free release. Uh, if it is free, it's going to blow your minds how much stuff you're getting for free. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to take you through it, show you a bit of, of what is in store. Um, it's going to be great. Cool. Let's hop into it. So yeah, first thing you'll see is the um, the, the resource pack is like completely taken over. Um, you've got a totally custom UI here. So down at the bottom, the full hot bar has been totally redone. Um, even just like the the in-game UI has been textured. It's so beautiful. I love it. Okay, so we start here. Um, I love the look of these bushes. All right, and then right off the bat here, this is just some signage to to show you how to report bugs in the game, or if you need technical support, if you have any questions, head over here. And if you want to chat with people from the community, make friends, meet our devs, Discord. So, see you there. So, all right, there's hovering and flying. Okay, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, I love the this tree behind me. It's awesome. Is there like glowing stuff up there? Fly across the gap to reach Arkhold, your home. Hold down jump to float. Keep an eye on the purple energy bar so you don't experience an unexpected fall. If you're playing on a mobile device, you may not be able to fly, so heads up, there are stairs on your right. There's a community bridge to help you across. Okay. Awesome. I am not playing on mobile, so I can fly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it. So you can see the purple hotbar UI is going down the longer I'm in the air. Cool. Okay, so now I gotta clear another gap. <gasps> Clenching, just in case I don't make it. Oh, that's awesome. That gets me every time. Okay. Alrighty, so I've got a thousand currency now, a thousand essence that just came to my hotbar. Um, so with that, what do I get to do? Spells are sealed beneath these glowing standing stones. So you can unlock one spell now and return for the others later. Blight, thunder, frost, or fire, what will you pick? Interact with standing stones to learn more about each spell. Awesome. Okay, so this one here is Blight. A curse of blast of corruption. Blight affects a large area and can spread between living things. Okay, I'm not going to pick just yet. I'm going to show you them all because they're all super cool and they deserve it. This is Fire. Burning hot and fast, fire turns creatures to ash with its continuous blaze. The resulting inferno is intense but short lived. Okay, Fire. That looks awesome. Frost, totally on the opposite end. Slow, calculating, and sinister. Frost lingers and creeps into the bones of those who dare oppose it. Ooh. Okay, close menu. <laughs> I can stand on top of it. Whee! Okay. And last but not least, thunder. Quick as a flash, thunder strikes with vicious speed. It's difficult to use, but very effective. Close menu. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with fire. I'm gonna do this as my first spell. Unlock fire. I'm spending all of my money. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so I've got fire now on my hot bar. Um, let's test it out on this dummy. beating him up today. Known magic. Hold the interact button to charge a spell. 
After it flashes, it normally send back button to cast a spell. Your mana will charge after a few seconds. When in a pinch, punch to keep enemies at a distance. Oh, okay, so I can punch too? No, just punch, okay. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> that is, this is quite the punch. Okay, it's not a normal punch. Just box this guy around. Okay, he keeps on running back. I was like, how far can I punch this guy away? Alrighty, let's head on inside here. I think about that. I, I figured out how my spells work. And then I gotta break this wall down. It's awesome the way that just hops away at it. And in we go. Oh, it's just not. I'm always taken aback by how cool this machine is. Okay. So it says, explore fragmented memories called rifts. Acquire loot, venture deeper, return to our cold, grow in power, repeat. The cycle continues. Okay, I'm not gonna hop into my first one just yet. I just wanna go through the whole hub. Um, so we've got here the spell altar. Place your spell inside and place the runes of your choice in the surrounding pedestals. Um, okay, so I don't have any runes yet, so I'll show you that later. Um, this here is the crucible. Oh wow. Find loot and rifts and melt it down to earn essence. Okay, cool. I'll be back here then. And the rune carver. Carver runes and placement spell to modify spells. Cool. Alright, the last thing in the hub we've got the mastery mirror. Mastery mirror, um, you increase your health, mana, flight, spellcasting, strength, and speed. Cool. I think that this is the most amazing thing in the game, and it's just a tiny little thing in the hub, but like the fact that the team is able to get a functioning mirror is so cool. Um, that this guy's just staring at me the whole time. Ooh, yep, still there. Watching me. I'm watching you. more stuff here but yeah check us out on youtube that's where we are right now so if you're watching this video you already are checking us out on youtube you don't need that uh this is yeah again our support site join our discord and follow us on twitter don't mind me one second just turning down game sounds because this is a little bit much on my ears um just so i can pay attention to other stuff Awesome. Okay, I. Ooh. I'm gonna show you the credits first before I hop into the rifts. So this is everybody who helped work on the game. Oh, I got here just at the end, so. Our design department, art department, everyone who worked, made the world, the gameplay. These guys are absolute wizards. Uh, the effects department, marketing. Hey, that's me. Quality assurance, and then tooling. So, yeah, big thanks to everyone who helped make the game. Uh, you guys are all amazing. I know that's a bit of a self pat on the back, but like, I didn't act. I'm in marketing. I didn't help make it. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Start with journey. This scares me every time. Especially since I only have one spell. Go in here. Okay, so the first rift that I'm in, this is, I think this is the graveyard? Yeah, it's definitely the graveyard. There's just a dead, there's a pile of skulls over here. Okay, so these rats are gonna try, come and try and get me. Eat it, rats. Okay. More rats, more rats. Uh, so that's a, that's a bone rat, so it's, it's just a certain a variation. Angel walks around every corner. Um, I am such a chicken. All right, let's go find these these baddies. I wonder if I can get bonus chest on my first rift. So if you're looking at the at the top there, um, every creature that I kill, uh, I it adds to the rift bar so that I um, once I've killed enough 
of the mobs, then it moves on to the next rift. Um, but if I complete it under a certain amount of time, then I actually get a bonus chest. So I'm probably not going to get a bonus chest. I have 20 seconds left. And I, but that's okay. It's my it's, it's rift number one. I can't, we can't all be amazing gamers right from the start. Oh, okay. It's, all right. Our first ghoul. Our first ghoul with a little pack of bone rats. I'm gonna die. I'm... I'm... No, no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, I'm gonna bait them. Come get me. Alright, and some real rats. We got bone rats and rats and ghouls. And I am going to die. Death by... <laughs> death by rats. It's so... Degrading. Um, okay, okay, I got this. I'm not gonna die in my first rift. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, okay. Alright, I can hear more guys spawning. Where are they? Where are you, baddies? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I stumbled upon the mother load. Keep on um, screwing up and not letting my spells charge. Okay. We can do this. Okay, okay. That peaceful sound at the end that tells me I finished the rift just like lulls me every time. It makes it all worth it. Cool. Alrighty, and then I got some stuff from the chest. I'm gonna do a quick lap around the graveyard rift just to see if there's any other chests that I missed. Um, because I know that they have them hiding around here. Um, and I need resources so I can start leveling up my character. Come on. There might only be the one. Okay, awesome. I knew there was something over here. A couple little jewels. Love it. Oh my gosh, I've already got so much loot. Oh, it's a book. Nice. Memories of undeath. Okay, awesome. You hit exit. This will, um, yeah, this gets added back to the bookshelf of the workshop so I can read all about the lore of the game later on. Um, cool. And so now I have to leave the rift. I got to follow. I got to go this way. Cool. Oh, I am obsessed with the chest animation. I think it is... They're so beautiful. I've never seen a Minecraft chest that is that extra. Rift 2! Alright, this is the castle, I believe is the name of this one. I love it. It's got the soft blue light. Uh, and more creepy rats. The rift, the mobs that spawn in each rift, it's actually, it's generated, so every single rift that you go into, the mobs will be in a different spot uh, every single time, and you also have different mobs every single time. So you get harder and harder mobs the further on you go in the game. So since I'm in rift 2, we're not going to be getting a lot of big scaries, we're mostly going to be getting rats, spiders, ghouls, um, yeah. <laughs> but they get, the game gets much harder. As, as you get some experience under your belt. Oh gosh. And I am not ready for it. Okay. Everybody burn. Okay, burn. Fall apart. Let's take it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, there's more guys spawning right there. S skelly rat. Skelly rat. I'm gonna run away from the skelly rat. 13 seconds till bonus chest. Maybe, if I can make it happen. Oh, these guys are stuck in the grass, so I can just cheese them. I, I missed, I missed hitting a rat. Oh, pathetic. Oh, spiders. 
spiders and rats, spiders and rats. chest again. I probably shouldn't spend the time going to get them. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you for my jams. So all of the, the enemies also drop loot, so that's what you can see. Um, I just picked up a rat tail that was on the ground in my inventory already. I've got some Sharp fangs, poison sting, wormy tail. So those are all drops from the mobs that will, um, yeah, gives me more money when I get back to the hub. But yeah, so the way the game um, plays is that you, once you pass a rift, you just have to find this portal and you can keep going into deeper and deeper rifts, but they get harder every time. So at some point you might die or you can use this to return to the hub. So this in your inventory here. Um, I'm going to show you guys now. I'm going to head back to the hub and I'm going to melt down my stuff. And I'm going to see if I can get myself some runes or maybe even a different spell. Because that would be awesome if I could um, get even stronger. Cell loot. I love this animation. It is so cool. Pours in this magical juju, beats it up, and now I have more essence. Oh, I've got enough for a sp another spell and a couple runes. Okay, awesome. I'm going to head back to the spell altars over here then, or the uh, the standing stones, I believe they're called. Okay. And first spell I've got right now is fire. Spell number two, I'm gonna go for Blight. This toxic baddie right here. Um, unlock Blight, let's do it. It's a thousand bucks, I'll have 300 left over. So they all get sucked into the middle. And now I have Blight. That's so cute. Kind of reminds me of Creepy from our, um, our Pac-Man game. Just this cute little gooey blob. Okay, so fire and toxic, what fire and blight, when they interact, you get blight fire, which is amazing. It's just like these chemistry interactions, they are now greater than some of their two parts. So if I hit this guy with fire, you can see the fire particles, he's getting hit by that a little at a time. If I hit him with blight and fire, it creates this amazing explosion and beats the crap out of this poor training dummy. Uh, you get blight fire here. So. Wow. And then that's just blight on its own. It's got a really, really wide area effect, but it doesn't, um, the individual hits don't hurt as much as some of the other things. Oops, this guy's dead now. Finally, I've been beating the crap out of him for a while now. And he's out. So yeah, blight. Fire and blight fire. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Look at it go. So that's the, that's the chemistry system that we have in this game. All of that is only made possible by scripting. Um, so I can talk, tell you a little bit about um, scripting. This map was actually made as a bit of a tech showcase for the new scripting API that is coming to Bedrock soon. I'll talk more about this in a later video, um, but we work directly with the team at Mojang um, and with their developers to kind of decide what was going to be added into the scripting API, how it was going to work, and how other Bedrock creators would use it and what they would want and need from it. Um, yeah, so we did that while developing Spellcraft, and so a lot of the things in this game are only made possible because of that collaboration, because of um, we were able to directly plug in JavaScript um, and 
do all of the wildest things that our devs <laughs> have ever dreamed about. So yeah, one of those things is these chemistry interactions between spells and even just like how how the spells work and interact and how the enemies act. Like it's, it is all an incredible technical feat. So I, I can't wait to show you guys some more runes too. Okay, so carve random rune. Which one do I got? Oh, I've got speed. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the light in here. Cool, so that accepts that. And then speed one, I'll just give it to this pedestal. Plunk, now my blight is faster, so. Pew! Uh, and I don't have enough for another room. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna go back into another rift then. All right, let's go. This is gonna start me back at Rift 1, but that's okay, I kinda gotta farm some resources so I can get to the higher levels and uh, actually have a chance of defeating some of these scary babbies. I love this rift, I love this rift so much. The forest rift is so beautiful. Oh gosh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Those guys are about to spawn right on top of me. All right, let's hit him with some blight fire. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just decimated them. They are gone. They did not stand a chance. Oh, oh crap. It's my first brood mother. Okay, so brood mothers are these horrifying spiders, these spider mamas. Um, and they come, yeah, they usually have babies surrounding them too, but they are creepy as all hell. Um, they're horrifying little legs. I did it. I survived. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go find some more creeps. That's a breakable wall there, so I can take that out. Oh my gosh, there's rats just coming at me, just falling off the edges. That is, that is quite the creepy visual. Oh no. Light fire is just like, it's such a combo. Now that I have two spells, like, I can just. And I know how to use them. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got the bonus chest. I got the bonus chest. This is my first bonus chest ever. Um, okay, that's so cool. I've never actually gotten a bonus chest before while playing this game. Cool. Okay, let's go get that. Let us, let's go get my cash money. Uh, which way do I have to go? I gotta go this way. It's leading me to my new destination. Da -da. Cool. I think the bonus chest is the gold one. Those are the more rich ones. Doop, doop, doop. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going in. Cool. Alright, so we're back in the castle. Oh. Okay, so that means that everybody just spawned down. Hello. Let's do it. Let's get him. Did not stand that chance. Oh, and also a, a heads up. So I am only immune to the spell that I'm holding. So as long as I'm holding blight, none of the blight stuff on the ground will hurt me. Um, but if I switched over to fire, for example, um, then I would be able to take damage from blight. So... Same with like the spell interaction, so I am not immune to blight fire, <laughs> even if I'm holding just you know fire for example here. So you gotta be you gotta be careful, or you can accidentally kill yourself um, with your own spells. Oh no. Okay, these guys are cool. These are the um, these are the frost ghouls. There's so many. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if I hit these frost ghouls with blight though. Look at them. Look at these guys come at me. Alright, and now I'm gonna hit them all with fire. And it melts them. Just melts them. Okay, I'm definitely gonna finish this this time. Alrighty, I'm gonna go get the last of those frost guys. I think I keep getting stuck in this little corner here. 
it's okay. I'll just, I'll go and chase them. Melt. Oh, crap. Was it? Okay, so I should not attack that guy with the light because he was already had light on him so that was um he's kind of just like immune to it it would i pretty much need to kill like one rat and then the rift's over nice yeah that's what i thought Way back is this way. Kind of learn your way around to the rifts after a certain amount of times. So there's five different rift types, but then they're just randomly generating as to which ones are actually, which mobs are actually in the rifts. So it is really truly unique every single time. Um, and I wish I could show you guys like a full long playthrough because this is this is only rift two. There is this game goes to. Rift 100, and then that's that's technically the finale. Um, but you can literally keep playing Rift Infinity, and some of our devs have done it. Ooh, okay. Castle Rift. Okay. It's always somebody who spots you, so this is, this is my way to take it. Oh, come on. I hate wisps. I hate wisps. Wisps are the spookiest. So they were all calm, and then I shot them with, like, a spell. And so they take on that spell effect. Okay, okay, I got the wisps. They fly and they'll shoot stuff at you. There you go. And um, yeah, I do not like my mobs flying. Oh crap, crap, crap. No, stop it, stop it, spooky spider. Come on. Wisps are the bane of my existence. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Did not stand a chance. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Just one spider? Just the one spider, actually? All by yourself? I feel bad killing you. You didn't deserve- oh, no. Alright, let's melt her. Let's melt this spooky frost mode. Nice, okay. The arachnacid. Nasty. Nasty spider. I completely missed. And I'm being attacked from all sides. Come on. Come on. Oh, I keep baiting more people, more mobs to me. Come on. Just one of you's gotta die, and then the rift is over, and then I'll be safe. Oh, okay. you guys one more rift. I'll see which one I get. I gotta see what things start spawning. There were four. Dang, they started spawning right away. Nope, screw you, Wisp. Okay, so if you don't shoot them with anything, they'll still follow you, but they won't shoot at you. So I'm gonna see if I can go this whole thing without enraging the Wisps. It's not, I probably can't, to be honest. Um, but you know, I'm gonna try, because I'm a chicken, um, and I'm a 
that chicken is about to die. I have two a rat, just to one rat. Oh no, oh no, it's an abomination. So that, an abomination is a three-headed ghoul. Uh, and it does this like, I could show you, but I don't wanna let him hit me. Uh, I, it does this huge ground slam. Okay, all right. shooting me. How did you get? I'm probably gonna die. I am probably gonna die. I tell ya, the second that they start coming for me. <sighs> that was one of those like moments before disaster strikes. <laughs> it was literally, I was so close. And <laughs> seeing the brood mother like come charging at me. Okay, that's a good riff to end on, right? That's. Yeah, things started getting incredibly difficult for me. Uh, I'm, I am ready to stop now. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was that was phenomenal. Um, cool. Yeah. So that is like genuinely just a very very small taste. Um, I'm gonna head back to Arkhold now. I'm gonna see what kind of other runes I can get. I might even be able to uh, upgrade myself at the mastery mirror. Uh, but I am. I'm telling you, there is. There's hundreds of hours of gameplay in this game. Um, Spellcraft is one of the coolest things we have ever made, if not the coolest thing we've ever made. Um, and I, I can't believe it's free. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it's free. That's just absolutely wild. Um, yeah, so, so go pick it up. Tell your friends. It's multiplayer compatible. Um, oh my gosh, okay, I have 4,000 essence. I'm gonna I'm gonna go upgrade my character so that next time I play a rift I don't totally die again. Okay. Um let's upgrade health. Nice. So now my character's got a little health emblem on his chest. I love that. Um what does mana do? Max amount of mana you have to cast spells. Um awesome. Would love to do that. Um I'm gonna do charge speed um, so I can charge my spells faster. So you can see this stuff is all um, down in my hotbar. Those those crystals there, those are the ones that started to indicate my mana. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, and overcharge. Um, overcharge is the coolest. Overcharge is the coolest. Okay, so now I can charge things more than once. Two. I've got two mana crystals worth, um, so those just make bigger and bigger attacks each time. Um, yeah, I've got more money. Let's do it. I want to I wanna be able to overcharge my spells and be OP the next time that I see one of those spooky spiders. Oh my gosh, I'm already, I'm already going so far with this. Okay. Let's carve a random room. <gasps> I just got the best rune in the game. Okay, sorry. Well, I think it's the best rune in the game. Homing? Homing is so cool. Genuinely so cool. There's a... Yeah. Causes a spell to seek out a target. It's homing. It's like we, we added homing to Minecraft. I'm gonna upgrade the rune imprinter so that I can now add more than one thing to a spell at a time, so... Fire, I'm gonna give fire homing one. So I'll now home in on my targets. And if you hover over your spell, um, if you go like into your inventory here, so it shows blight has the speed on it and fire has homing on it. So every 
every rune that gets added, you can see it um, right there. And you can take it off whenever. So I can put this back in here. And if I want to, I can take homing out. And I could put speed and homing on light, for example. So just like totally make one spell cool as hell. Um, lifetime. Oh, awesome. Okay. Amazing. So I'm gonna add a lifetime to fire them so it'll have, uh, yeah, a longer effect time. Okay. So this is just tier one. Um, there's three tiers of every single spell, so you can go ab above and beyond. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see. Lifetime. So it'll just hang out on the ground there for way longer than usual, um, especially at the higher levels. And then that's speed and homing. Uh, I think homing only works on like actual mobs, so it has to be... I can only really test that one out in a rift, but... <laughs> all of the sounds, all of the sounds. No, I gotta, I gotta do one more rift. I have to. This is what I'm doing. I'm showing this off. I'm playing another rift. Um, I must. And I've got enough money for another room, so why not? Bounce! Ooh! Okay, bounce is really good on... Bounce is really good on blight, actually, because it just spreads everywhere. So I'm gonna put homing on fire. And I'm gonna put bounce on blight. This is totally a preference. There is no, there is no right or wrong here. This is just, this is who I'm gonna be today. Alrighty, so we've got, yep, yeah, blight with bounce and speed, and homing and lifetime. Alrighty, let's go. My goal right now, my goal is absolutely to get the bonus chest. I can do bonus chest. Rift one, bonus chest two spells. Both of them have upgrades. I've got upgrades. I'm gonna decimate. Decimate. I'm telling you. You could see the homing on that. Believe in yourself. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I got the bonus chest. Okay, don't fly off the edge of the world now. Um, cool. Okay. Bonus chest time. Um, with 25 seconds to spare. Holy crap. Holy. Oh. I haven't been getting get this chest here. That's not the bonus chest. That's just a chest hiding level. Can I, can I float all the way up there? Uh, no. Alright, next thing that I'm charged that I'm upgrading at the Master Mirror is definitely my flight. I want to go further. I got places to be. I'm a busy lady. very quickly becoming very strong okay I think I can show I think I can show one last thing yeah absolutely I'm gonna go back to our oh, I'm gonna melt down all this loot and then I think I can upgrade the memory machine yeah which is which is a must Sell loot. 
tamp pours it in, and then bam, bam, bam. I love it. Oh, it's so much. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so this, yeah, this is a must after you've done your first couple of rifts. You gotta come over here and upgrade the memoria. It takes a, a thousand dollars of essence. Um, cool. And so now you can change the instability of the memoria, which that's a whole lot of words. Um, but what it does is that you can start at higher rifts. Um, so I, instead of going and starting at one every single time and having to just like play for hours to be able to get to the higher rifts, I can start at whatever the highest rift is that I've completed. So sadly, I've only completed up to um, rift level four right now. But that means that I can, yeah, I can start at two, I can start at three, or I can start at four um, every single time. So I'm going to start at four. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. It is too expensive. Um, okay, let's try again. So, let's do instability level three. Nice. Okay. There we go. That, that I can do. I can afford that. Now I am broke. <laughs> but, but hopefully I can make it all back by completing a high level rift. I knew it. I just had a feeling. I knew there was going to be some baddies behind me. Today was the day. Look at those spidey senses. Look at that. I knew. I knew there was somebody coming to get me from there. That was that was super overkill for that rat. I'm so sorry, bro. She's the greatest spellcaster you've ever. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. Oh my god, I'm doing overcharge. And I'm not touching you guys. Terrifying. Okay, 30 seconds, and I might be able to get the bonus chest. Come on, come on. Where are they? Nice. Some rats. Probably not worth my time. I should be killing some higher level guys here, but it's okay. Oh, like that. There we go. I found my higher level friends to kill. Just missed the bonus chest, but that's fine. What matters is the enemies I killed along the way. Where am I supposed to be going? There we go. Cool. So yeah, this is just a just a genuine, very, very small taste of what spellcraft is. Um yeah. I I hope to see you in the comments telling me what you enjoyed about it. Um, maybe you can come join our Discord and chat with everybody about it more there. Um, let me know if you like this, uh, if you'd like to see more of the, the devs and people in Game Mode 1 playing the games. Um, yeah. I'm gonna return to our cold, um, melt all this stuff down. But let us know what you think of Arcanist. Um, or sorry, Arcanist was actually the... <laughs> Ar Arcanist was our name for the game while it was in development. It was our, our code name. Um, you'll learn more about Arcanist as you go into higher and higher levels. They're they're spooky. Um, yeah, that's me there. Shinar Addo for comms director at Game Mode 1. Um, and this is, this is everybody who put their heart and soul into this beautiful amazing incredibly complex game um both like behind the scenes and to just um there, there's so much gameplay here oh my gosh oh my god that bounced off of there now there's there, there's just blade everywhere crawling up the walls oh that wall didn't stand a chance this rift the the area that you're in when you're not in rift is just beautiful that's a that's a little secret over there i'm not gonna show you that yet you should check it out <laughs> 
wonderful. Yeah, this is this is Spellcraft by Game Mode One, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>